Today we got a pretty big content update, probably one of the bigger ones of the year and also probably the most exciting one so far, the All-Star program. So we have 30 new All-Star cards, we also have 30 new Flashback and Legends, there's also a new 99 collection reward. So we're going to go over all of that, we'll kind of skim through the content because I'm not going to go over the attributes of all 60 cards, but just taking a look at the all-stars of the franchise program it's the new featured program there's 21 days to complete this and there is a lot of diamonds here so starting off with the flashbacks and legends you have 15 from the national league right here so i'll uh, i'll open up the cards but i won't really talk about the attributes but we have joe tory and then we have ryan stanick he actually has pretty good per nines michael conforto who had pretty good power numbers versus righties. You got Shane Victorino right here, Tyler Clippard. So the good thing about this, there is obviously all these cards are free to get. You know, these ones I think are all no sell. Barry Larkin right there. The other one was Mark Pryor. You got Luis Urias. Okay, you know, definitely have never seen this card before. What is it? Five extra base hit card. Kind of interesting. You got Mark Melanson right there. And then Adam Wainwright. But the good thing about these is all these cards are free. They're going to help with collections if you're trying to, or if you're still working on, you know, getting George Brett. We got Justin Upton right there. Then we got Nolan Arenado. Wow. Kind of a nice card right here. You got Hungin Ru. So this card does not look bad. Then you got Kirby Yates. Pitch repertoire is kind of okay. And then Sergio Romo, which I feel like he's always pretty solid for a bullpen arm. So those are the National League guys. And all of these cards you'll end up getting for free if you, uh, you know, keep progressing towards the program. But these ones are not sellable. And then the AL ones that you start getting at 25000 are not sellable either. But we have Darren O'Day. I always like using him. I know other people, I think, say he tips pitches or whatever. Kevin Euclid, I really like his swing this year, but I don't really like these attributes on that card. Chad Green does look really nice just quickly looking at that. And then you got Blake Snell, not a bad looking card right here. You got Kevin Biggio, which it looks like he has pretty good hitting attributes. Roberto Perez, you know, good power right there. Yuan Mancata, which has probably my favorite swing in the game. So he doesn't look bad. Alan Trammell right here, good contact numbers. You have Solaire, good power numbers. And then Walter Johnson, does he still have a slow motion? I don't remember. Alex Bregman gets a nice diamond right there. You got Brandon Marsh, future stars. You also have Lefty Grove, starting pitcher. Does he have a bull? He has a bullpen one too, right? And then Daniel Vogel back right here. So good power number. They could have done like Edgar Martinez for this too. You know, they didn't have to do Vogel back, but I guess it doesn't matter. And then Alvis Andrews. So those are the flashback cards. And then we start getting the all-star cards at what point? There's a lot of equipment here too, which I guess will be good for, you know, create a player and stuff like that. I don't think they're going to be sellable. I don't think those are in the market. But we start getting the all-star packs at a thousand or a hundred thousand xp so we start off with the nl west so first one joe mantiply has 103 hit per nine 88 k per nine 125 walk per nine actually uh pretty nice <laughs> you know 125 control is pretty nice that he could be pretty good for a left he has a 91 sinker 81 curve 83 circle change 91 fastball we have cj crone has pretty good hitting attributes you know gold tier defense we have Tony Gonsolin, 115 hit per nine, 80 K per nine, 91 walk per nine with a 94 fastball, 84 splitter, 88 slider, 81, 12, 6. Pitch repertoire, not bad. I feel like this card could have been better though. I mean, it's not really, I just, I don't really care for the pitch repertoire, I guess, but fastball splitter is not bad with the slider curveball. It works. You got Manny Machado. So he has 117 contact versus righties, 90 versus lefties with 125 power versus lefties. So versus lefties, pretty good. Versus righties, he's also good because of that contact. You get him parallel four with 80 power numbers versus righties, a very solid card. And then you got Carlos Rodon has 105 hit per nine, 95 K per nine with a 97 fastball, 86 slider, 77, 12, six, and an 85 circle change. So I should mention this. You, you don't get all 30 of these cards for free. You'll end up getting 18 of them. So it does jump from the 12 that we were getting in previous, you know, when you had all 30 options. So we'll end up getting 18 of these cards for free, which is pretty nice. So that's pretty much three cards from each division 
which is not bad. And to be honest, I'm not really feeling the starting pitchers in this set right here. And then on to the NL Central, we got Wilson Contreras. And he has 90 contact versus righties, 112 versus lefties, 82 power versus righties, 125 versus lefties. So versus lefties, really nice. We have Luis Castillo has 107 hit per nine, 86 K per nine, 87 circle change, 95 sinker, 97 fastball, 87 slider. I always like using him. And he has outlier on the sinker, so he could be pretty nice. You know, I always like using that card. Corbin Burns, we already know this card is going to be nasty. You know, he had, he had a pretty nice card last year also. But 107 hit per nine, 88 K per nine, 84 walk per nine. Got the 95 cutter, 95 sinker, and that does have outlier. 83 curveball, 88 slider, 88 circle change. You got David Bednar, 118 hit per nine, 107 K per nine with a 97 fastball, 78 curve, 88 splitter. Does he have outlier? He does not have outlier, but still really good per nines on this card. And then Paul Goldschmidt, 100 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties, 91 power versus righties, and 101 versus lefties. So really nice hitting card, very good against lefties. So honestly, if I have to pick three from this set, probably Corbin Burns, Castillo, and maybe Bednar, or Goldschmidt if I want a first baseman, but I kind of prefer the bullpen arms to be honest. And then next one is the NL East. Wow, they did all the NL first. That's kind of crazy. But NL East, we got Dansby Swanson. Has 109 contact versus righties, 111 versus lefties, 88 power versus righties, 94 versus lefties, diamond tier defense, 83 speed. Not bad. Sandy Alcantara, 111 hit per nine, 74 K per nine, 93 walk per nine. K per nine, I feel like is pretty low. But he does have an 88 circle change, 95 sinker, 98 fastball, 90 slider, and an 84 curveball and outlier on the sinker i feel like he's gonna be a really solid starting pitcher you got edwin diaz 115 hit per nine 125 k per nine with a 91 slider 99 fastball 97 two seam fastball and no outlier i mean two pitches not really anything crazy but the pair nines are really nice on this card next you got bryce harper 110 contact versus righties 100 versus lefties 106 power versus righties 82 versus lefties with diamond tier defense 69 speed Pretty solid card right there. And then you have Juan Soto. Has 98 contact versus righties. 77 versus lefties. 114 power versus righties. 98 versus lefties. Diamond tier defense. 55 speed. I'm actually kind of disappointed about this card. Not going to lie. I felt like Soto could have maybe been better. So if I choose three from this set. Alcantara. Probably Bryce Harper. And I might have to go Dansby Swanson. You know, Soto's kind of disappointing. But Soto also has a very nice swing. So... He could play better than that. Next, we got Justin Verlander for the AL West. Has 109 hit per nine, 75 K per nine, 100 walk per nine with a 95 fastball, 88 slider, 79, 12, 6, 84 circle change, and a 95 two seam fastball. Probably no outlier, but still pretty solid starting pitcher card. You have Shohei Otani, a pitching card. Has 91 hit per nine, 85 K per nine, 78 walk per nine with a 98 fastball, 85 slider, 90 splitter, 79 curve, and a 90 cutter. So I always like Otani, especially as a pitcher too. I like him as both. Uh, hitting attributes, wow. <laughs> 120 power versus righties, 71 versus lefties. So versus righties, he's really nice. I feel like this is going to be everyone's choice for the AL West. You got Paul Blackburn right here, 100 hit per nine, 82 K per nine. Starting pitcher with a 92 sinker, 88 cutter, 79, 12, 6, 85 circle change. 92 fastball. He does have a good pitch repertoire, so he doesn't look bad. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. 90 contact versus righties, 108 versus lefties, 86 power versus righties, 114 versus lefties, diamond tier defense, 99 speed. I think he's going to be really good. I like this card for an outfield option. And then we got Martin Perez has 98 hit per nine, 82 K per nine, 109 walk per nine. So good per nines with a 93 sinker, 83 circle change. 90 cutter, 94 fastball, and a 79 curveball. So also a pretty solid looking card. If I pick three from this set though, Otani, Rodriguez. Man, the other ones. I might, I might try Blackburn. I might try Blackburn. I do like his pitch repertoire just to switch it up. But yeah, I mean, I think you can go either one for those starting pitchers. AL Central, we got Andres Jimenez. 112 contact versus righties, 98 versus lefties, with a 93 power versus righties in 68 versus lefties, diamond tier defense, 92 speed, good speed and contact. You got Tim Anderson, 
Great contact numbers, 125 versus lefties, 100 power versus lefties. So versus lefties, really nice with diamond tier defense. 74 speed. You got Gregory Soto, 118 hit per nine, 111 K per nine with a 99 fastball, 95 sinker, 90 slider, 88 circle change. And he probably has outlier. Outlier on the sinker, not the fastball, but the sinker. So good lefty in the bullpen. And then Andrew Benintendi, 125 contact versus righties, 104 versus lefties, 72 power versus righties, 74 versus lefties. So really good contact numbers, diamond tier defense, 70 speed. And then Luis Arias has 125 contact versus righties, 81 versus lefties, 74 power versus righties, and 57 versus lefties. This card, <laughs> not really doing it for me. You know, diamond tier defense. Three from this set, I don't even know. Soto. Probably Anderson and Jimenez, just because Jimenez has the speed. You know, I kind of like that. So, yeah, I think the Central is kind of weak. And then we have the AL East, or a Lopez, 120 hit per nine, 97 K per nine, 85 walk per nine, has a 95 sinker, 83 curve, 88 circle change, 87 slider, and a, 90, and a 98 four seam fastball. So, most of us probably have the player of the month card. We kind of already know how he is, but it's definitely a pretty solid card. Oh, this card has outlier too. Outlier on what? The sinker. But yeah, you know, pretty much better than his play of the month card. You got JD Martinez, 116 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties with 88 power versus righties, 92 versus lefties. So really nice hitting card right here. And even as diamond tier defense, 40 speed. Aaron Judge, the only player I really want. And it's literally the last card we can get. So that kind of sucks. But he has 98 contact versus righties, 78 versus lefties, 118 power versus righties, and 115 versus lefties with 57 vision, diamond tier defense, and 65 speed. So I, I really liked Live Series Judge. You know, I've used him a lot. Probably the card I've used the most so far. So this one definitely will be in our lineup. Has great power numbers. We got to get him at least parallel two for that 80 contact versus lefties. But yeah, the more contact we can get, the better. But I do like this card. You know, I, I wish the contact versus lefties was a little bit better, though. Then you got Shane McLanahan has 104 hit per nine, 89 K per nine with 89 walk per nine with a 97 fastball, 82 curve, 86 circle change, 89 slider. So he's been really good, but I don't know if that pitch repertoire is going to be enough to use him online. And then we have Alejandro Kirk. 117 contact versus righties, 95 versus lefties, 90 power versus righties, 81 versus lefties with diamond tier defense, 16 speed. So pretty well balanced hitting card. Now from this set, we definitely will take Judge, Lopez, and then the other three are kind of a toss up. I, I really don't care for the other three, but maybe Kirk, you know, just to, just to try them out, just to have a catcher, you know, but yeah, those are all the cards right there. All 30 all-star cards. Now, there could be additional all-star cards based off the all-star game. So there probably will be a program, something like that. And there is a collection for collecting 44 all-stars. So we'll go over that after this. But you keep going. You know, there's still a lot of choice packs remaining. And pretty much, you know, if you play through this, you will make a lot of stubs. There's some balling out of control packs over here. And then if you get up to the 400,000 <laughs> XP range, you start getting future of the franchise cards. So these are pretty much free 10K right there, but also pretty nice. If you don't have them all, you get some big dog choice packs, some always intense packs, some more balling out of control packs. So there's a lot of packs here. You know, we definitely like that. But yeah, you know, I think the all-star cards... I think there's a lot of hits and a lot of misses, to be honest. You know, I'm not really like, oh, I need every single card. But I think there's some solid ones there. Now, you do have featured program moments. There's actually a lot. Probably 30 of them. Probably one with each player that's an all-star. And each one of them gets you 1,500 XP. You have Legend and Flashback missions. They give you 2,000 XP. So these are all the Flashback and Legends from that choice pack. Now, you can use these guys in Conquest, Mini Seasons whatever you want there's exchanges which actually kind of a lot of exchanges but we're not going to do that there is a new conquest jet stream conquest so how many games one two three four five six games to play got to get the mats on the first turn and then doesn't look like anything else and then five balling as a habit packs is i guess the main reward but yeah you know i think that's a pretty quick conquest to do only six games Thirty thousand xp for completing that and that is that that's pretty much the content now like i said there is a collection dealing with the all-star guys 
So collecting 44 of them gets you 99 Jackie Robinson. And this card looks really, really nice. 125 contact versus righties and lefties. 88 power versus righties, 80 versus lefties, 125 vision, diamond tier defense, 96 speed. So a really nice card. I feel like Jackie Robinson always gets some type of collection reward too. Or he's always involved in programs and stuff like that. But this is a really good card. You need 44 all-star cards and home run derby cards. But they didn't include the home run derby X cards. Which kind of sucks because we did invest in those a little bit. And they, <laughs> they dropped down in price a lot. They're pretty much quick sell value. So I don't know if they're going to do something like a home run derby collection too. You know, there's still the possibility of that, but I doubt it now that you need all-star and home run derby cards for this collection right here. So I guess we'll have to see with that, but it's not looking good for like investment purposes for those home run derby X cards. But still you need 44 of these cards and what, there's 30? How is this possible? How many home run derby cards are there gonna be? Actually, how is this possible? This is gonna be expensive. Because there's, there's 30 All-Stars, there's going to be 8 Home Run Derby guys, and then I guess they're going to throw out 6 players at least, probably more, maybe 6 to 8 players from the actual All-Star game. This is going to be expensive. <laughs> this is going to be a very, very pricey collection for sure. But yeah, that's what you got to do to get 99 Jackie Robinson. We might be able to do it, you know. I don't know. There's not really a rush. There's not really a rush to do it. But that's the content for today. I think the all-star content is pretty good. You know, it's not bad. And then the updated schedule. So later tonight, home run derby. That's when the home run derby packs are going to be dropping. I will say, might be a good idea to invest in home run derby cards. Because once they go out of packs, those cards will go up like crazy. So those home run derby cards, I know for sure will be i think pretty good investments and then 19th which is tomorrow we got the all-star game so more packs then then on the 20th we have a david ortiz program 99 overall and i believe they said this is a free card to get so everyone will be able to get a 99 david ortiz also on the 20th new all-star program new other program with moments and missions unlock player items and packs so maybe i don't know what that could be Maybe it's just additional all-star cards that were involved in the all-star game. And then on the 26th, we have a new event. Actually, there's an event right now. I forgot to mention that. So there is a new event. Let's take a quick look at that. Adam Dunn is one of the rewards. And then you got a finest Fran Mill Reyes. So Reyes, very nice hitting attributes right here. Great power numbers. Bronze tier defense, 50 speed. Then you got Adam Dunn, one of those flashback finest cards. 97 contact versus righties, 90 versus lefties. 125 power versus righties, 107 versus lefties with 64 vision, has gold tier defense and 62 speed. So nice looking card right here. I literally have not played events in like the last three or four events. So I don't know if we'll play through this. I kind of just want to grind out the program since I personally don't have that much time to, you know, grind it out. So we'll probably focus more on the program than anything else, even though, you know, playing online gets you XP and whatnot. But that's today's content, you know. Let me know what you guys think about the all-star content. And let me know which, which card's your favorite. Also, you guys see yourself getting that 99 Jackie Robinson anytime soon. It's definitely going to take a couple weeks, that's for sure. Because all these all-star prices have to drop in price considerably. That's going to do it for this one. We'll see what content drops later tonight and tomorrow. But I would, I would probably invest in those home run derby cards. And until the next one, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, jump in the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.